pregnant women that have higher urinary BPA levels are six times more likely to have a child diagnosed with autism by the age 11. Wow. Six times more likely. And this is not just one study, okay? Multiple studies have shown this, and it's not just autism. There's a spectrum of neurodevelopmental disorders, including ADHD, anxiety. Urinary BPA is associated with all of these neurodevelopmental disorders. And also, children with autism have been shown to have up to 15 times higher BP, urinary BPA, um, they're, they're not able to excrete it as well. So there's something funny going on there. So I do think there is, again, um, and we know some mechanism involved because BPA is a xenoestrogen, it is binding to estrogen receptors. Um, it could be competing with estrogen. It also affects the aromatase enzyme. So this is the enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. It's very, very important during development, uh, especially, you know, brain development for a male fetus. Estrogen plays a very important role in the developing male brain. And when you disrupt that hormonal balance, it can lead to neurodevelopmental defects. And that's been shown wow. mechanistically in animal studies. There have also been studies showing that children with disrupted aromatase enzymes are more likely to have autism. So it's something to pay attention to, BPA. 